So today we're going to be getting film ready assets into Blender without modeling a single piece of geometry. And how are we going to do this? Well, the answer is Quixel Bridge. So let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so here I've got a new Blender file up. And the first thing you're going to want to do is download the Quixel Bridge add-on, which I put a link to in the description. Download the latest version of the plugin here. Let's go ahead and prep Blender for importing. Firstly, let's go to File, Import, and now we're going to click Mega Scans Import Alembic Files. This will prepare Blender to import the Alembic files that Quixel Bridge is full of. Now, secondly, you're going to want to download Bridge itself. It's a pretty big installation and it's connected to Epic Games. So make sure you've got that down now. Download Quixel Bridge by going to the link in the description and clicking the blue button right here. Once you've got it down, launch Bridge. You will have to make an account and there are two different options. You can have account directly for Unreal Engine and you can have an account for um, Blender and other programs. Now, here's a secret hack. If you set the Unreal Engine account, it's completely free and you get everything and you can still export to Blender. Don't tell anybody about this. Okay, anyways. Once you're ready, you can go ahead and download your first asset. So for example, if you wanted to download a modular mine, you would search for mine here, and then you would select this modular mine tunnel, for example, and you would hit download at the following resolution you want. Now, 8K resolution files are much higher than 2K or 4K, so depending on how much detail you want, you could select the following. Once you have your um, model down, you will see that this will be set to downloaded and you can click the blue export button. I have already downloaded this one at 8K resolution. Now again, double check that you have created and set this as Megascan imported Alembic files. You make sure you have to click that, otherwise it won't work. So now we're going to click export in Quixel Bridge. And here it's saying export to Blender, export to Blender, export it successfully. And if we go back to Blender, you can see like magic, our Quixel Bridge asset is inside Blender. But we're not quite ready to go yet. Firstly, if we go into our almost render mode right here, you can see that our texture is in, but it's looking a little off. It's really shiny. And there's a bit of a bug with Quixel Bridge. So let's go over to the shading tab and I'll show you what it is. If we select our object, we Quixel has assigned the image textures to the wrong things. So I hope it's going to get patched, but for now we can easily fix this in a couple of steps. Firstly, the clear coat needs to be turned all the way down, which will get rid of the shininess. Secondly, we need to plug the roughness into the roughness and not the specular. So we're just going to cut that using control right click and cutting on that node and we can grab our color and plug it into the roughness, into the roughness, not the specular, right here. So now our roughness map is looking better. And finally, we should plug our normal into our normal and not the emission strength. And you can see that our model is looking much better and it looks a lot more like wood right now. And if you zoom in here. Now these assets are all photo scanned, which means if you look on top or underneath some places like here, you can get a bit of janky geometry, but that's because those are edges that you cannot photo scan. So for all purposes, these assets are perfect. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Just a quick tip I wanted to put out there about how you can get these film ready assets in because modeling assets for your scenes takes a lot of work and if you've already got them out there why model them by yourself so if you enjoyed this video please consider liking and subscribing to my channel because it will really help me on my creative journey and foster uh, inspiration for new tutorials like this uh, thank you and I'll see you guys in the next one